Speaking of transformations, Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year because it allows me to transform into anyone I want to be and no one can say boo about it. But transforming my house into a Halloween haunt is a whole nother matter. It is, however, the topic of great interest for one very creative North St. Paul man who has a passion for video producing and special effects. And he is the focus of our next Local Image interview. I'm inside the beautiful home of our guest interview today. His name is John Hires, and I'm just waiting for him to appear. Hello. Oh, hey, John. Nice entrance. Thank you. So, John, I understand this home is actually used in some of the uh, special effects that you create. Is that right? Yeah, it's, uh, it, was, it was built to look Victorian, and we do a lot of things with haunted houses, so it's an appropriate background for some of the how-to videos and we we also do some of our test projection and demonstrations of our projection effects right in this very room very and some of the adjoining cool. rooms tell me where this um where this started your your interest in special effects and especially kind of spooky eerie effects what basically did it was i was interested in the effects in star trek and star wars okay so my friends and i would uh sit around trying to figure out more than anything how to duplicate those effects and that, you know, we're talking more than 20 years ago. We actually started experimenting with projection effects in our 1984 movie, The Nomads, which was my film that most closely resembled Star Wars. And we used film projectors to project the virtual scenes and views out windows and places like that, since we had no chroma key. The spooky effects actually began in this film, as we wrote the story to include skeletons and various ghosts who appeared in this haunted alien castle. And then it just gradually developed into uh, doing some work for a haunted house that was in St. Paul. Okay. And that kind of, and that was 1997, and that got me started into thinking of some spooky effects. The, the development of a certain effect mm -hmm. is based on some requests somebody might make. For example, in 2007, we were hired by a major museum in St. Petersburg, Russia to do 14 video projection effects. I was partly in charge of coming up with ideas of what we could do and doing experiments. So at one point I said, let's try to do some effect uh, in this case for the floor. Some, some, we invented something, I invented something called Virtual 3D, which is for the floor. Virtual 3D was developed during this museum job in Russia. And the first such effect was actually projected 3D rats running on a table. And so I think, well, what can we do for the floor? And then the first thing that came to mind was, what about a snake, a rat, or a spider? Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's kind of need-based, or a lot of times it's just what pops into my head. Well, John, I see your friend behind you. She, she wants to get in. She wants you to let her in. Who is, who is that woman? My friend Heather. Um, <laughs> She was one of the first first experiments we did on a projection for in a window, okay. and so she's designed to go on rear screen, and, and it's simply, the zombies are real big, and so she's basically a zombie trying to get in. And I'm not letting her in. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's back up a little bit and tell folks about what it is that you are doing, what people right. then can do with the products that you create. Right. Okay. Um, the, there's a couple of primary markets, as we call it, for these products, and probably the largest by number is people that decorate their home very heavily for Halloween. So there, most people don't know there's actually a name for it, but the name is called Home Haunter. And that's, that's the name that's been adopted by the industry. There's an okay. industry behind this. Yeah. And that is, there's, there, are internet, there are national trade shows. I call them international, really. They take place in the United States. People come from all over the world. And they're either people that just decorate their home, or they might do a little haunted house in their garage or their yard or they work with a nonprofit organization doing a haunted house that's slightly larger, but still not like uh, Disney World. Right. right. Uh, the second market is the, the larger haunted houses, for example, uh, Bush Gardens. That has been one of my customers since 1999. That must be very cool to know that what you've been creating here right here in North St. Paul yeah, has yeah. gone, you know, virtually worldwide. Well, it, it, it really is. Um, uh, a trip, I guess is the right word. <laughs> um, because when I, I've, I've tried many things in video business that were beyond doing the corporate video, the commercials, the live events, um, 
something that's unique and different. And so when, uh, when I got this started, it was like, well, let, let's try this. It's a real tr trip, a real treat to be able to know that I've made something that has sold uh, to over 200,000 people since 99. So your tricks are your treat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and speaking of Halloween, I bet you have the most popular house on the block. We do. We have, we, we <laughs> have pro probably one of the most popular ones in the Twin Cities area. Uh, not too many people from far away come to see it, but what's unique about our house is, it is uh, it's the white sands proving ground of the vi virtual effects, of the projection effects. Very cool. So we have six to seven video projectors running, sometimes a TV, but uh, mainly projection effects now. And so people will see things from snakes crawling on the driveway or in the garage to something crawling up on the roof and things crawling in the yard, wow. and they all come from video projectors. Tell us about this movie that you're working on. Um, it's kind of a spoof of Harry Potter. What's that all about? It's called Harry Murdoch and the Curse of the Grim Reaper, set in St. Paul, North St. Paul, filmed here, and also filmed at the uh, used bookstore in downtown St. Paul. Awesome. The story is written around the special effects, for the most part. Okay. So we have effects that appear throughout the film. There's effects with storm clouds in the sky. There's crawling ghosts. There's storm out the window. Uh, so just about all of our video effects are intended to be incorporated into the series. Come this way, look out the window. So when we made this movie, with exception of a very few number of chroma keyed shots, the majority of the effects were live video projection with the actors. So the actors actually get to see it. And we set the lighting and the exposure so that we can film all of it and get it at the right exposure. And it works just incredible. What surprises me, John, is that this idea that you've come up with hasn't been thought up before by the you know the Hollywood types that invest thousands and millions of dollars into this. That stuff. is what has a number of people have said. I've had people from Hollywood. There are effects people out there that do work with haunted houses, right, you know, and right. they have said we've never seen anything like this. So when people ask me over the phone, how do you do it? I just don't tell them. Well, right. Um, so <laughs> that's a secret. It's a secret. Yeah. Yes. So I you know I just tell people quite honestly. It's a trade secret. I came up with it. Yeah. It's like a magic trick. I don't share it. Yeah. So if people want to learn more about you, your company, and what you offer, and some of the cool effects that are out there, um, where can they find out more? I know you have a website. Anything that would be on our website is easy to find on one page of YouTube. You simply type in J-O-N space H-Y-E-R-S. I don't know if you want to give out your home address. You might get a flood oh, sure. of people. <laughs> sure. The, the home address is, is 2202 Pond View Court in North St. Paul. Excellent. As a, a departure, I'd like to do an old-fashioned special effect like you did on your arrival so we can head out the same way you came in. How's that sound? Sounds very good. All right. On the count of three. One, one two, two, three. three. How do they do that? Well, it's a mystery to me, but what's not a mystery to me is how the On Location TV19 program Inside Healthcare won a regional Emmy Award. Congratulations to host and producer Jody Ritaka and photographer Monty Stumpert and our entire TV19 crew in working on this collaborative program with St. John's Hospital in Maplewood. Until next month, I'm Judy Skyvoss wishing you a very happy and hot filled Halloween. And as always, I thank you for watching Local Image. <laughs>